Good afternoon, everybody. This is Tracy Armstrong, owner operator of North Pittsburgh Greeting Company. I am the area's premier welcome wagon lady. I welcome all the new homeowners and new businesses to the ever growing North Pittsburgh area. Today, we are speaking with one of our local businesses, Turo Family Chiropractic, located in the North Hills of the Pittsburgh area. And today, we are speaking with Angela Toro who is the sister of Dr. Dan Toro, the owner of the practice. Toro Family Chiropractic is truly a family chiropractic office with the entire family having their hands on making sure everybody in the area has a healthy, safe lifestyle. Angela Toro, welcome today. And please, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, hi, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. So as you said, um, I'm Angela Turo. I am, uh, I have to admit, I am, I am Dr. Dan's younger sister. So there's definitely a little bit of sibling rivalry that goes on sometimes. <laughs> but we, we, we always joke, we're actually very close. So we just like to, to tease each other. But um, yeah, I came into the practice a little over a year, actually, I guess, yeah, a year and a half ago as the uh, salutogenic specialist, which I know we'll talk a little bit more about what that is but essentially my background is in health and wellness so my bachelor's degree was in biobehavioral health and then i got my master's here at pitt in wellness and human performance so i've studied a, a wide range of health issues from you know how diet and exercise can help both optimize the athlete as well as help with you know the prevention and management of chronic disease which is what i'm truly passionate about so it was a perfect fit coming into the office where you know dr dan and Aaron are already very passionate about that with their patients and to be able to to bring me on to help focus in on that a little bit more was was really the was really the perfect fit for like you said this this what was already a family practice and just made the the family practice grow that much more exactly salutogenics <laughs> i can yeah. see you may be only one person out of maybe a hundred who's watching this right now knows what that is salutogenics <laughs> Please share with us. Yes. So, yes. So we actually did not make it up. It is a real word if you Google it. So salutogenesis is about focusing on factors that create health and wellness as opposed to fa focusing on factors that cause disease, with, which is pathogenesis. A lot of us, that word is a lot more common. That is what our medical system is based off of. So with pathogenesis, what we are interested in is if you have a disease, getting rid of it. And so the absence of disease is considered the goal. You know, if somebody has cancer, you want to cure the cancer. If they have high blood pressure, you want them to not have high, you want them to have normal blood pressure. So that's what the pathogenic model focuses on. Salutogenesis is, well, okay, you can be not sick, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are healthy. So mm -hmm. it's looking at it as a spectrum where just because somebody doesn't necessarily have symptoms or have a disease or have a diagnosis doesn't mean they're healthy. So it's getting people to the other end, focusing on the things that are going to not just have them not be sick, but are going to truly optimize health, give them the best quality of life, the best years of life, extend life, you know, all of these things that we all want and we all look for a magic pill for, it truly comes down to we are in control. It's just about understanding what affects our health, how it affects our health and what we can do to optimize our health. Amazing. What do you do for patients in the office when a patient comes in and they're interested in this? What do you do? How do you how do you get the process started? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the running joke is that I'm just literally another resource that Dan and Aaron offer out to people. Um, I am essentially I do whatever it is people need to get them from where they are currently with their health to where they want to be. So I meet with the new patients as they come in, try to sometimes schedule permitting, um, try to meet with them on their day one, just to introduce myself, kind of get my get my my face in their head so that they mm -hmm. know I'm around, they're going to see me. And then it really comes down to what people want. Some people want to meet with me regularly, you know, that like weekly or every other week, monthly, they need that accountability. So they know what they need to do. They need somebody to kind of hold their hand and help them do it. Um, other people maybe just have a question and will meet with me once or twice and we kind of answer some of their questions and then they're good to go. Okay, thanks, you know, and they can go do it on their own. Um, and then other people 
don't even know where to start. And so it's kind of pointing them that direction to the right resources. Um, so that's really what I am there for. It's to to sit down, talk to people, see where they are, see where the gaps may be, and then help them fill those gaps, whether it's with my own knowledge and resources or referring them to the person who has the knowledge and resources to help them. And what do some of the people uh, use you for? Give me some examples of why somebody would say, you know, I need to sit down with Angela and talk to her. Uh, is it might be weight loss? Might it be to lower their hypertension? What, what are some of the things that why somebody say, you know, I need to sit down and speak with Angela Toro? Absolutely. I would say the number one is usually weight loss. That's, you know, our we live in a very weight centric world, meaning we are. Yes, we do with the number on the scale. And actually one of my favorite things to work with people is getting them out of that mindset and okay. understanding that it's not the number on the scale. The number on the scale, just like all these other numbers are, they might be an indication of your health, but again, it might not. Um, mm -hmm. So people are within normal, you know, the normal weight range. That does not mean that they're healthy and vice versa. You may be a little overweight. That does not mean that you are unhealthy. So yes. it, it's really working with people on kind of reframing that mindset. Um, and then, yeah, if, if weight loss is their goal, what we really try to get down to is, well, why do you want to lose weight? Because I, I want to feel better. Okay. So weight loss isn't your goal. Feeling better is your goal. And mm -hmm. then kind of working through that process of what that looks like, helping people change, you know, the diet, the, um, the exercise regimen, make the lifestyle changes to again, promote health. And then by doing that, you will see weight loss. If you need to lose weight and you make the lifestyle changes, you will lose weight, but it's really about addressing the underlying cause. Um, so that is definitely a big one. Uh, people come to me a lot to talk about what supplements they're on or should be on because that's, again, another common thing. There's a supplement out there for everything. So helping, right. people, yeah, <laughs> helping people understand <laughs> that, um, helping people understand their blood work. So we have the ability to refer people out if they need blood work done. Um, but we also tell people, you know, if you've had blood work done, bring it in, sit down with us. We can go over that, help you understand those numbers because anymore you'll get blood work done and the most you'll get is, oh yeah, it's fine. Or, oh, this was a little high or a little low. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever sits down and explains what these numbers mean. What does it mean to be sure. high? What does it mean to be low? So again, just kind of helping people get to that, the underlying issue and what it means and why it's potentially dangerous to be high or low and what you can do naturally to change numbers um, or why maybe what's, what was flagged as high isn't necessarily concerning based off everything else going on. So it's it really is um, somebody I actually had a patient refer to me as a health detective, which I really, <laughs> I really liked that. that I like that. It is. I mean, we literally just we sat down and talked through stuff. And she was telling me, you know, oh, I'm having trouble with this or this. And, and just just in the process of talking, I was able to kind of fill some gaps for her and be like, oh, you know, you're doing this and you're having these symptoms, those might be connected. And she's like, I never would have put that together. And so it's just, that's really what I'm there for is helping people connect those dots that when you're there and you're doing it every day and you think you're doing the right thing until you have somebody pointed out, you might just not realize where you're, uh, where, where you're missing some, some key points. And interesting. And what type of resources do you offer your patients? So we, uh, my background specifically with exercise and nutrition, um, so we actually have a um, app called PT Helper, which was developed for physical therapists. And the um, developer actually brought it to us and thought, you know, he's trying to get into the chiropractic realm and it fit perfectly mm -hmm. with what we were looking for. So I can actually, you know, we all, we all have different aches and pains and injuries and things like that. So I'm able to um, build somebody a customized exercise or stretching routine based off of what's going on. So, and then it sends it onto an app and then they have it right there. So that, that's that been really, really helpful because whether it's for a specific injury or whether it's just general aches, pain, soreness, um, it's been really helpful to have that tool we have, um, like I said, we can refer out for the blood work. And then probably the the biggest resource we have right now, which I'm very proud of because I've been working very hard on it, is our Salutogenic Solution website, which is oh, a wow. back 
it's a backdoor website exclusively for our patients. So, and when you come in and you go on a care plan in our office, it's all included, which also, by the way, all of my services are all included. There's no, there's no upcharge. It's all included in what you get at being part of the Turo family chiropractic mm -hmm. team environment. So, um, well, this that, website, that is, oh, I'm sorry. That is certainly like a real add on to your office. I love other chiropractic offices can't offer. So that that's a yeah. real, that's a really good added addition to the office. So I, I apologize. no, you're fine. Cause that's, that, that was honestly, when I first came on, I don't think we really knew what direction we were going, you know, Dan and Aaron just knew that they wanted me here and that it was going to be a good yeah. fit. And we kind of played around with this idea. And then we finally realized, you know what? everybody could benefit from these services whether they know it walking in the door or whether they'll know it a year from now so let's just make it available to everybody so that there's not that cost barrier and it's just like you said it just makes it an added value uh, yeah but yeah but this but this backdoor website so this is where we really go into a lot more detailed information so i've put together different modules so each video is probably between you know maybe eight to you know, eight to 20 minutes on the long side for depending on how much detail there is in there, but there's different sections. So I have one on exercise, nutrition, stress. Um, well, okay. Stress isn't up yet. <laughs> stress will be up in mid August. Uh, but we have, we, we have sugar, which is a huge one. I would say that's another common thing. People what come to talk to me about and, you know, everybody's struggling with, with sugar issues in this country, just based mm -hmm. off of our diet, the Western diet. Um, and then we have one on fasting, which is another thing that we talk about and promote in the office. So it's it's been really helpful uh, for me because I can, instead of sitting there and spending my one-on-one -on -one time with somebody going over the basics, I can refer them to this website and say, you know, you, you clearly are having an issue with, with sugar. So go watch these modules. And then we can discuss in more detail, you know, how this is impacting you specifically and how we can gear this information to you. And, you know, same with, you know, if somebody seems to have a lot of issues with their, their diet or don't understand some of the nutrition basic, because again, it's like, I, I sort of forget and take for granted that I've been in the health field since really mm -hmm. high school, I've been taking these type of classes. So I sometimes take for granted that, you know, if, if that's not the field you went into, you might not have ever taken a class on nutrition. You might not yeah. have ever learned about the basics of, you know, macronutrients. And that's something that you know, it's just without having that basic knowledge, you can get overwhelmed by all the information out there where you hear about diet plans, promoting fat or condemning fat or promoting carbs or condemning, it, it gets confusing. Mm -hmm. You don't even understand exactly. what fat or carbs are and how your body processes them. So that's where we go into a lot more information about that on this back door and have that available to our patients so that they can have a better understanding of their health, because that's what you know, that's ultimately what we want. So very excited Amazing. about that website. We got that. We finally got that launched in June. I've been working on that for probably like eight months. And then um, we'll be continuing to the content and everything. And then, you know, Aaron and, and Brittany, our team here really helped put everything together because I am not a website builder. So I am the content, I am the content provider. And then, exactly. That's a yeah. whole other ball game there. Website building. Yeah. But and yeah, we'll just, and we'll just continue to add to that as we have, you know, the, the need and the interest to, you know, any, like I said, the stress section will be going up. And then as we kind of start to see the same questions come up, we'll be like, oh, we should probably make a, you know, a video on that or make a section on that and then add it up. Oh. So it's been a great resource. Amazing. What other yeah. fun facts can you share with us about that we might be, what, that we might be curious about? That. So I, I don't know, maybe they're not fun to everybody, but fun, <laughs> I'd say probably one of the one of the biggest misconceptions is this idea of of sugar addiction. And this is a big one I talk to people about where they're like, oh, I don't really have a sweet tooth. And and I was like, OK, walk me through your day. And it is just filled with refined processed carbohydrates. And that really and I have to sit with people and go, you do realize that refined carbohydrates are broken down and processed the same way as simple sugars. So you might not think you have a sweet tooth, but if you're craving chips, if you're craving bread, if you're craving these, these snack foods, that, that is a sugar addiction. That is sugar. So that's been 
I think, interesting for a lot of people to realize how that's much for me. Yeah, that, I just learned something new today. <laughs> and that's the biggest thing that this low fat craze that came out has just totally gone to the extreme on the other way where all of the products out there are so processed have so much added sugar have so much added artificial sweeteners which still trigger the brain in the same way and still create that addiction pathway um, you have so many other added you know chemicals to make because basically when you take fat out of something you're taking the taste out of it so mm -hmm. you have to put something in to make it taste good um, you're also taking out a natural filler so fat makes you feel full it fills you up it makes you feel uh satisfied satiated so when you take that out you're getting these simple carbohydrates that are broken down very quickly and you're just going to be hungry more often uh, which then again leads to the eating more often which then leads to the cravings so that's been a big thing that we you know really try to focus on and help people understand that and again it's it's not your fault I and mean, this is what we were raised you know this is, mm -hmm. this is what's available. it's our society it's yeah our society. and you go out there and you see all these packages labeled with, you know, fat free, heart healthy, like it's some big, <laughs> but you know, I mean, we were raised on, you know, cereal for breakfast, sandwiches for lunch, pasta for dinner. And now into our adult years, we'll be struggling with this, you know, this carb sugar addiction that we essentially were just because of what we were raised on and, and what, we, what we eat. And so that's where, that's where we really try to get that information out there and help people understand that because to break the cycle, it's going to take us understanding it and then changing what the next generation thinks and understands and how and changing their habits because we can only do so much to erase what we've done to ourselves at this point, but we can, you know, change we can the mindset of the younger generation. Exactly, exactly. And, and salvage, you know, the years that we do have left instead of just continuing down that, that vicious cycle. Exactly. So. Well, Angela, it was a pleasure speaking to you today. Please, if anybody's interested in speaking with you or getting to know more about you and you're and interested in your services, how can they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Well, our website's a great place to start. So turrofamilychiropractic.com. If you go on there, you'll see there's a whole uh, tab, a whole section dedicated to salutogenic solutions. So there's lots of information there, my background, what I have to offer. You know, we have some different um, informational videos, just kind of what is salutogenesis. So that would be a good place to start if you're still confused. Like, I don't understand mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Uh, that, yeah, <laughs> that's a great place to Art. And then, you know, they can contact me directly. My, my email is just Angela at TuroFamilyChiropractic.com. Um, and then you can always just contact the office directly through our, you know, the information on the website. There's, there's a contact form there as well if you're interested in working with me or have any questions. So that's well, that's Fred, <laughs> Thank you very much, Angela. And for everybody out there who is interested in Angela's <laughs> services or would like to meet with her in regards to any type of prevention you want, health prevention you want to use in your life, I will be posting the, the website, email addresses, and phone numbers of how to get in touch with Angela and the comments listed below. Angela, it has been more than a pleasure to Thank speak you. with you today. I hope sooner rather than later, you and I can actually be in person at a, at a networking <laughs> event. I, that's how I got to know you in the first place at networking events. I yeah, miss I seeing all of my friends networking <laughs> and it's been a pleasure and everybody happy Friday. Again, this is Tracy Armstrong, North Pittsburgh Greeting Company, the area's premier welcome wagon services, welcoming mm -hmm. all the new homeowners and new businesses to this wonderful North Pittsburgh area. So everybody, happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Angela, it was a pleasure and enjoy. And again, thank you everybody for thank watching. You so thank you. <laughs>